Hi guys, it's Akshman. How is everyone doing? Good, good, good. I hope. Today I am reviewing Trésor La Nuit or La Nuit Trésor by Longcom. This one has come by request quite a few times over quite a few years. So I eventually got myself a bottle and I want to review it for you tonight. This fragrance came out in 2015 and Lancome describe it as a gourmand woody floriental, pretty much throwing every category of fragrance at it that they can. Ah. So yeah, 2015, it's a really nice one. The bottle is kind of spectacular. I'm gonna show you it right now. Hopefully the green screen doesn't mess that up, but I'll do my best. The box is very twinkly and it's very glittery. This bottle is lovely. It kind of reminds me of if you've seen Death Becomes Her, there's a potion in that film where she puts it on the table and it just stands up. That's what this looks like. I'm gonna bring it closer. So it's so lovely, this one. It's got a little satin rose thing on it. Trezor means treasure. And this bottle is a treasure. Beautiful color liquid. It's very aesthetically pleasing from the get go. So talking about the notes, I've seen two note lists on Lancome's website. I've seen two different descriptions, mightily confusing, but I'll go through them with you. The first one is top notes of raspberry, lychee, and bergamot. The heart notes are frankincense and rose, and the base notes are vanilla, patchouli, and papyrus. That feels to me kind of like what it smells like, but then there's another note list that says top notes of heart of black rose essence. I don't know how real that is. I don't know if that's an actual thing or if it's sometimes perfume companies use these wonderful descriptions that describe accords that they've made up, like a fantasy accord. I don't know if there's such a thing as black rose essence, but it sounds kind of bewitching and fun. The heart note is Tahitian vanilla orchid absolute. That sounds like a very expensive ingredient. I didn't know that people distilled orchids. I thought that that was another thing that was fantasy, so I'm gonna make a judgment call and say it's another fantasy accord, but they say it's absolute. So if something is called an absolute, it usually means that it's an absolute. It's directly from the material and it's the purest form that you can get from that. So who knows? And the base notes are papyrus essence, lychee and praline, or praline. So how does it smell? I'm gonna spray it on my hand. <clears throat> this is the sixth time I've worn this since having my bottle and gotten to know it. It's really nice. You guys know me, I'm not a gourmand lover, but this one I really do like. So I wanna start off by saying that it's definitely got an oriental feeling, even though there's no amber here or any kind of gift from the orient, there's no spice, there's not much in the way of resins, but it does have that. If you have smelled Jimmy Choo's first fragrance, I put it in that category. I call it, it's almost like a grown up gourmand. It's not one of those cupcakey, youthful, kind of juvenile, flirty things. There's an, there's an elegance to it and it does feel a, like a, I guess a playful fragrance for grown ups. That's how I describe it. I can really smell a pear note in here, which is why I kind of, I think it's similar to Jimmy Choo. I also smell a fruitiness in here. It's almost like in the very core of this, first off, I can smell a pear, a juicy pear, and I can smell a jammy berry smell, which I'm guessing is the raspberry that they mentioned. So even though this is gourmand, it has fruitiness at its very core, and it feels almost syrupy jammy in the center. Like if you broke something open and you just, this oozy sweet nectar came out. Talking about the sweetness here, it's sweet at first on a normal level and it gets much sweeter in the dry down, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I feel all of those things straight away. Vanilla is in the base of this and, or so they say, vanilla orchid. So I, I, I still don't know what, quite know what that is, but I'm putting it down to vanilla. Vanilla holds up the entire composition and the praline or praline or nutty element of this is behind the fruity elements. The fruity is what I smell first with vanilla and something that feels a little bit oriental and sensual. That's how, anyway, I can describe it for now. 
I actually don't feel any rose. Uh, Trezor, the original one was more about peaches and stuff for me. So this one is not related to the original Trezor at all. My mum used to wear that my whole life growing up. I'm very familiar with it. This is almost like an entirely, well, it's not almost like a different perfume. It is an entirely different perfume. It's semi-dark. It feels like it could be a nighttime perfume, but also casual enough to wear every day, I think but they portray it as this dark purple jewel of a bottle. They say it's got black rose and it's an oriental, so that would indicate it kind of goes that way. But for me, there's an element of playfulness to this that keeps it a bit casual. I also don't feel any incense. I think if there was more of a prominent incense in it, it would have been a really cool twist or another interesting facet to add to this, but mainly it's really smooth. It's a really smooth, woody, gourmand, touching on oriental with jammy jammy fruits in there as well. And it does feel a little bit purple, I guess, in colour, if I'm going to put a colour to the smell. I like doing that sometimes. This is straight into the deep notes immediately. It feels thick, it's quite strong, and it wafts quite a lot as well. So it almost feels like, I would call it something like, almost like an elixir, you know, like a a rich syrupy fragrance that's gourmand but a bit more of a serious gourmand. So as it starts to dry I do feel the praline, the nuttiness of it kind of switches places with the fruity part of it so that's when it does go I guess m a touch more actual gourmand where you're getting a foody almost savoury type feel but it's it's blended in very well with this ball of sweet woodiness that feels like Jimmy Choo again and that happens probably about two hours in maybe three and then it's got a really long longevity and towards the end vanilla just becomes the star of the show I find that with most fragrances that have vanilla in the base it just is the thing that's always going to be there it's one of those notes that just sticks on no matter what you do vanilla is just going to make itself known regardless so you end up probably about five or six hours after with a very slightly woody vanilla scent. And it's cool, it's a cool journey, I like it, it's very pleasant. I can see this suiting a lot of people that I know. And yeah, I think it's really fun. It's a really fun fragrance, but it's also got a bit of mystery and I like that. Longevity is great, I get at least 10 hours, it's a great one, it feels like it's a bit stronger than Eau de Parfum this one, so I think it's really worth the money. And I, I'm going to leave the review there, try it out, I hope I've done it justice. If you guys want to get this fragrance, head on over to natino.co.uk, that's where I got mine from, I wanted to try it out and review it for you guys. They've also really kindly asked me to let you know that on the 25th of this month, their Black Friday sale starts, they're going to have loads of cool offers and stuff going on. So they just asked me to let you know. They even do engraving on perfume bottles now if you wanted to get a more personalised perfume for a loved one or yourself. If you go to a perfume page, you'll see uh, there's a little tick box where it says engrave this for a, a small amount extra, I think. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, just passing on the message. Anyway, I'm Arch Mama No. Get my logo down there to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon for another video. Trying to make the world smell better, one video at a time. Have a nice evening, guys. Goodbye.